You seem very grumpy today. Do I? It's because you're really annoying. <laughs> Can't think of any other reason, really. No, no other reason. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Are those from our garden? Mm, they are. Do you know what's lovely is the pods? Pods are still quite tasty as well. I don't want to throw them away. All right, well, you eat the pods and I'll eat the peas. Well, pods are quite nice in a salad, actually. They're quite tasty. We've got a few little bitties from the garden. Some sweet peas, which smell so... They're my favourite flower in the whole wide world of flowers. Oh, I just love them. They smell so beautiful. And we got some little baby courgettes because they're just starting. We're a bit... I don't know, a bit behind. I don't know why. Maybe it's the position of the, flower, of the uh, vegetable beds. But anyway, we've got some little courgettes and just a few runners. We've actually had quite a few run beans off the thing. Oh, is something burning? Yeah. Quite lightly. Yeah, it's burned. That was my leeks. I reckon I can save some of them. Look. Is that the new pan that you've just burned? The new pan I've just burned. But do you know what? I want people to see. I want people to see that, you know, it's easy to burn things. In your case, very easy. <laughs> and quite regular. <laughs> it's only because I usually have had a gin and I've lost interest in cooking. Okay. Well, I'll be fine. I'll deal with that in a minute. Anyway. We've got little stripy courgettes, we've got yellow ones, we've got green ones, some runner beans and some peas. So I'm going to pod these. I'm going to rescue my pan of burnt leeks. I've got a little bit of extra leek left in the fridge. And then I'm going to put these in and I'm going to cook them all together and um, add some chopped parsley. And you, and when it's cool, you're coming back, okay? Do you want to tell people what you're actually cooking? Oh, yes. I'm doing salmon kulibiaka which is Russian fish pie, which is something we used to do um, when we were training, but not with these ingredients, so I'm just sort of playing. I'm just using basically what we've got in our garden, but you can use whatever you've got in your fridge, really. But didn't I see it. you making pastry? Yes, I've made some yoghurt pastry, my normal yoghurt pastry, which you can find on my apricot and French pan tart, and my chicken thigh pasties on all the other films. Um, and then there's some smoked salmon going in there as well. So it's just really, it's a hot pot. As always, it's what we've got in the fridge, I cobble together, and produce something from it, which is what most people do every day of their lives, isn't it? In the kitchen. And they burn things too. So I'm just, you know, just doing normal day, really. Burning things. Well, hopefully you'll be in a better mood when I come back. I'm in a very good mood, but you have annoyed me today. Right, so I'm gonna say this is take two. I'm more happy now. Yes, I'm fine. So um, I burnt the. So let's just right start right from the beginning. So Lottie, what are you making today? Lottie, what are you making today with our homegrown veg? <laughs> I'm making um, salmon kulibiaka. So salmon kulibiaka is Russian fish pie, and it's a recipe I've done for a very long time, and a lot of people have done it. And it was probably very big at dinner parties in the eighties, seventies, and eighties. So it's a lovely pastry dish. So you have pastry, and inside you have salmon, rice, and vegetables. So that's in the fridge. I've cooked some basmati rice, that's going cold. And in here, now no longer burnt, I've got some extra leek um, and I have some courgettes, some peas from the garden and some runner beans as well in there, which I'm just going to soften, finish off softening in a minute in some butter on the pan. Then I'm gonna let that go cold. And then you're gonna come back and then I'm going to assemble the dish and that's it and it's lovely you're not annoying me anymore i think you're all organized i'm ever so organized now makes Hopefully. change yeah i know it really does doesn't it <laughs> okay it's all sorted so over here my lovely is all our vegetables de jardin except for the leek not quite but we've got beans peas some courgettes and they're all from our garden they're little ones now i just use them because they're in our garden and um, I thought it would be lovely to put them in. But you can put mushrooms in, you can put peppers in, you can put courgettes in, leeks, very finely diced carrot, very fine, otherwise it would be a bit too crunchy. So you can put a whole manner of vegetables in there. That's what I've used. I've also got some chopped chives and some chopped parsley and a little bit of lemon. And this I'm just grating into this bowl, which has some cooked basmati rice in it. And this, these are smoked salmon trimmings. Now I, whenever I see them, in the supermarket or 
you know, online, because that's how we shop nowadays. Um, I buy them because they're brilliant. You buy them in small packets, they're really cheap, and they go in the freezer, and you can just bring them out for sort of kedgeri or pasta sauces or something like this, and it's just really good, cheap way to fill you up. The, the, the salmon in this, you can use the other fresh salmon as well, which I would actually have cooked and flaked in here before I cook the whole thing. But, you know, this is just as good, and I think the smokiness gives much more flavour to the whole dish. So just a little bit of lemon going in as well, just, just to freshen it up and lift, lift it all up nicely. You can never have enough lemon zest as far as I'm concerned, so I'm going to do the whole one in here just to make it all lovely. Lovely, 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 John. There we go. All right, so that in there. And we're going to put a good wallop of salt in, some sea salt and some black pepper. Get lots of flavour in because rice absorbs a lot of salt. So if I didn't cook the, the um, basmati is with any salt because um, I wanted to add it at this stage. But, you know, you've got quite a lot of bulk of stuff. So, you know, a good, good pinch of sea salt is quite necessary in there. And some chopped parsley. birdies. We have two more visitors to the garden. So do you remember the other day we were talking about uh, the tunnocks, or the dunnocks, who I call the tunnocks, and we call them tea and cake. Get it? Tea? Yeah. Um, and then we also have the finches, which we call Leonardo da Finci and Isabella. We also have a new couple of finches, they're gold finches, so gold finch, gold finger. We've named them Money, Penny and James. <laughs> Oh dear, can we Might I add that you've named them? <laughs> I've named them Money, Penny and James. Um, so this is now cold. These are the vegetables that I sweat and you saw right at the beginning that I burnt. They're going in. So I cook them in a good wallop of butter because again, you know, it's all flavour and it's quite nice to have a little bit of moist butter going through. Sometimes um, traditional kuliak actually has egg in it, hard-boiled egg in it as well. But um, I've just gone with the veggies this time. So it's basically smoked salmon and rice pie, isn't it? Veg. <laughs> I don't know why I'm trying to be posh and call it anything different. Um, so mix this all together. And then you just have a little taste. Make sure there's enough seasoning and enough lemon zest and everything in there. Mm. Mm. I'm getting this on. A bit more. A bit more pepper. That's on top of oh, that's so fresh tasting. All those veggies, you know? They're really good. I feel quite virtuous from all that hard work of bringing on seeds and everything. It's all worked on. And our little veggie patch, our tiny one. There we go. Right, stir that in. So now we transfer this. Now I'm going to just sort of clump it together with my hands, it's a bit messy, um, and put it down the middle of this pastry. So this is the pastry I was telling you about. This is my. Um, lovely yogurt pastry so it's basically flour butter and yogurt and it's nice and light so i'm just going to pile the mix in just hope i've probably got too much mixture actually probably a little bit too much but make sure we get the salmon in if i leave a little bit of rice on we can just eat that actually i think we might be all right i might have actually done something right you're looking forward to this? I, I don't am. think I've cooked this for you, have I, sweetheart? No, it must be in your book, though. <laughs> okay. And I can feel it's got a lovely, a lovely amount of um, fat in there from the butter, okay? I can feel it on my fingers. That is perfect. You need it, okay? So, if you... I mean, I know people are sometimes a butter shy, but it's really important in some dishes like this. And anyway, you've got so much butter in the pastry. It's but you don't want your inside to be um, dry, okay? It's got to be nice and moist. All right, got a, an egg wash here. It's just egg and a little bit of salt. That helps break it down. And I'm now gonna try and work out how I'm going to do this. I think this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring it over here, like that. And then I'm going to brush 
the egg over there. Bring that over. Okay. Looks like a big pasty. It is, it is a bit like a big pasty, yeah. <laughs> it is. Okay, so you've got to imagine this is underneath, okay? This is actually going to be the seam that goes underneath. So I'm just going to seal it. Seal it just on each end, okay? Fold it up like that. Do the same this side. I know it's excess pastry, but you want it for the seal, okay? And then I'm going to get a, a baking sheet like that and just, um, it's lined with non-stick grease proof. So you can get hold of any, it's a miracle. It took us how many weeks to get some? Three weeks. We eventually got it. We bought two just to make sure we had enough. So you just lift that up and gently place it on, okay? Just pick it up. There we go. Be brave. All right, so now with my leftover pastry here, birdies. James Money Penny. That'll be up for that. I'm just going to just a bit of flour, just going to roll out and decorate with some little hearts. So if you want to, Sweet Pea, you can come back or you can do a little bit of that, you know, that full speed ahead thing that you do with the camera. You know, what's it called? Times five thing. What's it? Time lapse. That one. Yes. Yeah, so if you want to, you can do time lapse over the top of it. Once I cut them all out, it'll look quite pretty, won't it? So I'll roll them, cut them into little hearts, and then you can see what I do. Right, I'm going to put that into the fridge for about 10 15 minutes just to chill. Pop it into the oven about 200 degrees for whenever. I'll let you know when it comes out. Please with that. It looks good, doesn't it? This is um, all out of the oven, so it had 15 minutes at 200 degrees, and then I did about 10 minutes at 180. Okay, so you've just got this beautiful brown, lovely. Uh, salmon Russian pie. I've just got a little doggy down here who can smell pastry. Do you know what I did? I had a couple of little loft cuts and I cooked them. This is a real treat for her. We don't do this all the time, but just a little bit. You sit, sit. Good girl. Good girl. There you go. <laughs> she gorgeous. Right, let's pop it onto a board. It should be quite easy to take off, but because I use the non stick. I'm just going to slide it off on there. Now, I think this would be really lovely with a nice big green salad, crunchy green salad. You really don't need anything else because you've got the pastry and you've got the rice inside. So just a lovely, lovely green salad. I'm going to cut right down the middle because I think it will get the best look. Whatever things in there. Look at that inside. So you've got the rice, all those vegetables and the salmon. It all held together really well, doesn't it? Oh, it's lovely. Does it look nice? Nice and refreshing. I can't believe you haven't made that for me before. <laughs> right. Okay. It's still quite hot. Oh, God, it's all going to fall apart. I'm just going to... Okay. Let me have a little tasty. Let me get in there. Lemon zest, you know, I put loads of lemon zest in it, really makes a difference, it really lifts it. Um, you've got a little bit of smoked salmon going through. That is really, really delicious. I know it falls apart a little bit, but you can forgive me for that, can't you? Because of the lovely filling inside and those gorgeous vegetables. But uh, I actually think that's very healthy, very, very healthy, lovely, wonderful Russian fish pie. Worth giving that a go, I reckon, don't you, John?